basically the best time to file a pilot up is any time. Uh, the forecaster, the weather briefer, the pilot, we all use PIRA in our basically day-to-day -day activities in terms of flying. And there's a, basically Canada being as large a country as it is, there are lots of places where there's very little weather data out there. So you may be the first person on the scene that can actually give us some, uh, some observed weather data that we can actually put into our forecasts. When we get a PIRA from a, a pilot, we basically disseminate whether it's a, a hazardous one or whether it's just a, a PIREP that's good to know for other pilots in the area. If it is a hazardous one, we basically uh, submit that into the, the, the weather system. Uh, the forecaster will see that you've issued a PIREP saying that the conditions are hazardous in my area. And we'll also broadcast it here at the FIC to basically frequencies within 150 nautical miles of your current position to let everyone know this is a, an area that you would rather avoid in terms of whether it's icing or turbulence or any other significant meteorological phenomenon. When you file a PIREP with a flight service specialist, not only do pilots win, but forecasters win and the weather briefers win because we all become more educated on what the weather is out there and what weather to avoid and what weather to move towards.